then you go through the added pain of being not outright accused by the authorities, but pretty close. I mean, the DA earlier, before Mary Lacey, the DA said they didn't do it. The DNA rules them out. Um, Four months after John Bonet died, the DA, Alex Hunter, said um, Patsy and John are the focus. They're the focus. Opened up a grand jury proceeding. And the grand jury came back and said, don't see anything that you're going to be able to pursue as a, you know, beyond a reasonable doubt. And the DA ultimately had to admit that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you're going through being accused. And then on top of all that, John, you've got the media coverage, right? Which basically tried to make John Bonet and Patsy into this bizarre daughter, mother team. You know, she was exploited. She was sexualized. The the beauty pageant videos Mm -hmm. on endless loop, on endless loop. So talk about that for a bit and what that was like for you. Well, you know, the media, of course, jumped on it, but they were being fed information that was misleading, uh, wrong. Uh, And we were told by Mary Lacey uh, several years after she got into her position as the new DA, she said that was the police strategy that was defined to them by someone, whether it's the FBI or some wacko psychologist, put intense pressure on the family. We know it's one of the two. They're in the house. Either the father killed her or the mother did. One of them will confess eventually if we put enough pressure on them. And and Mary Lacey, the DA, said that was their strategy to solve the case. And so they released a lot of information, misleading information, incorrect information to the media. And, of course, the media ran with it. Uh, And um, we were quickly... Uh, convicted in the court of public opinion. Um, We didn't know that's exactly what was happening, but uh, it was confirmed by the DA. And the problem for the police was they did a great job of convicting us in the court of public opinion with the assistance of the media, but they couldn't, they couldn't charge us. We would have, it had been a bloodbath for them in a court because the evidence was quite contradictory to that. Uh, as they got into looking at the evidence, because they'd made their conclusion, I believe on the day or the day after uh, of John Bonet's murder, and then went about, let's find the evidence to prove it. Well, the evidence they were finding was con- contradicted to that conclusion. Uh, and um, that became a problem for them because, you know, the media and the pu- public was, you know, screaming, hey, you arrest them, Can, you know, charge them. And they, they couldn't. Uh, well, and, and meanwhile, in the interviews, you you held firm. I mean, Patsy, they got all up in her grill. And when I watch her, because I, I've spent a lot of time with this guy's name is Phil Houston. He he invented the CIA's deception detection technique that they still mm-hmm. use today. It was there it's 25 years. There's all mm-hmm. sorts of ways you can tell somebody's lying. And um, they're pretty foolproof if you know how to apply them. And mm-hmm. uh one of the things is just sort of no BS. You don't tr- you don't do convincing behavior. You're, j- you're just hardcore. No, no, mm-hmm. you know, stop. Like, I-, I mean, I'm sure if I showed him the Patsy Ramsey tapes with the cops, he'd be like, why did they waste so much time with her? Right? Like, it was pretty obvious. And I'll just show some to the audience a clip. Um, this is from 1998, two, two years later, police interview of Patsy. They're telling her falsely that they have trace evidence linking her or you to the murder. I would be suggesting if I if I had that, how would you react? Here it is, top five. If I told you right now that we have trace evidence that appears to link you to the death of John Bonet, what would you tell me? That's totally impossible. Go totally retest. impossible. How is it impossible? Do a retest. I did not kill my child. I didn't have a thing to do with it. And, and I'm not talking, you know, somebody's guess or some rumor or some story. I'm I don't care what you're talking about. I'm talking about I, scientific evidence. I don't give a flying flip how scientific it is. Go back to the damn drawing board. I didn't do it. John Ramsey didn't do it, and we didn't have a clue of anybody who did do it. My life has been hell from that day forward. And I want nothing more than to find out who is responsible for this. Okay? I mean, I want to work with you, not against you. Okay? This child was the most precious thing in my life. And I can't stand the thought of 
thinking somebody's out here walking on the street. God knows they might do it again to some other child. You know, quit screwing around asking me about things that are ridiculous and let's find the person that did this. Wow. The frustration, it's palpable because it's like, as she points out, he could be hurting other children. All right. Yes, and probably did. There's a high probability, I'm told, that that creature kind of creature doesn't just stop with one. Mm. Maybe has done the, it before. The um, This is right around the time where Lou Smith walked out. The, the detective, the retired detective, who they brought in because they couldn't solve the case. And he solved every single case he ever worked on except for this one. They brought him in, take fresh eyes. What do you think? And Lou took the, his fresh eyes at every, looked at everything and said, they didn't do it. This is not, Patsy and Ramsey are, that's the wrong tree to bark up. Yep. And they didn't listen to him to the point where he quit. He called this a travesty and said they were trying to railroad you. It's mm -hmm. crazy, John, that that wasn't the end of the story. It would take another 10 years for Mary Lacey to get that DNA test and say, just stop. Stop with the obsessive focus on the Ramseys. Mm -hmm. No, that's true. Uh, Lou told me, you know, after he resigned, and we were able to talk to him freely, uh, that uh, he'd looked at the case uh, for several months and all the evidence and said, no. Please, please are going the wrong direction. So he said he went to their war room where they were strategizing this assault, frankly, and said, you know, you guys have looked at this case longer than I have, but, you know, I've looked at it and have you ever thought maybe you're going the wrong direction? And he said it was like pouring a bucket of water on the on the participants. They wouldn't talk to him after that. They banned him from their war room and just wouldn't listen. And uh, that's what he said. I'm not going to be part of persecuting an innocent uh, person and resigned yeah. and continued to work on the case for the rest of his life, which I was very grateful for. And uh, he was an amazing fellow. Well, on the, th on, um, I think it was a, a 60 Minutes Australia piece I watched. Um, yeah. They had old tapes of him and he, wa he went to the crime scene, to your old house. And he went to that window that was broken mm -hmm. in your basement because one of the theories was nobody got in through that window. That, that was a window you had broken not long before because you had locked yourself out of the house and you were trying to get and in. That's true, um, yeah. It, so, so people were saying, no, somebody said only a midget could get through, a little person could get through that window. That wasn't it. This is back on, it had to be one of the, mo the mother or the father. And right. he goes right through it. He, the, yeah, the video no. shows him going right through it. Was that something, by the way, I meant to ask you, did you go through it to when you had locked yourself out? Yeah. Had you gone through that window to get in? Yes, uh, I had. Yeah, so uh, of course you could lock myself out one. I don't know one day, and nobody was home, and so I, that was the way, way I got into the house, so I could unlock the door. I didn't have a key. Uh, you know, the person that said no, that no, it's impossible for someone to get through that window was the detective investigating the case. It was purely misleading, purely false information, but it biased everybody, the public, the media, towards us once more. That was the whole strategy. Mm. And so that was confirmed by the district attorney to us that that was, that was her whole strategy. And she also said their only evidence that they would present, and it's really not evidence, that led them to think that we were guilty was we did not act right that morning. It's the Christmas and holiday season, and it is time for gift giving, parties with friends and family, and for getting compliments everywhere you go because you look years younger thanks to Genucel. Not happening yet? Time to order right now. <laughs> Millions love their products. I'm one of them. From now through Christmas, Genucel's most popular package, it's all their best stuff. They have idiot proofed it for you. You know how you go on, you're like, I don't know, do I need it? Just get the most popular package. One of them, there's a couple you can choose from, they're all great. 70% off right now at genucel.com. Treat yourself and treat a loved one too to the absolute best skincare in the world. See those forehead wrinkles, fine lines, skin redness, pesky bags and puffiness, and yes, even a sagging jawline disappear right before your eyes with Genucel's most popular collection. With its immediate effects product, you're gonna see results in less than 12 hours, guaranteed, or your money back. And included in every one of their most popular packages is your free hyaluronic acid serum 
for skin hydration. I think it's resurfacing. It's very resurfacing in my experience. That's going to restore your youthful appearance. Visit jannycell.com slash MK now. Enter my special promo, MK, for an additional 10%, additional 10% off your entire order. You get 70% off. You get an additional 10% if you use the code MK. You're barely paying for anything. And every order today is instantly upgrading to free express shipping. G-E-N-U-C-E-L dot com slash MK60. Geniusel dot com slash MK60. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.